Hey, it's Devin here, and I am here to walk you through the six-week challenge nutrition guide for the 1.75 plan. So the first thing you're going to notice is that your plan is going to show you different blocks of macronutrients. You've got your protein, your fat, your carbs, and your veggies. If it's on the list, this is what you are going to be limited to eating for the next six weeks. It's not to say that what is on this list is good for you and what's not on this list is bad for you. It's just that we wanted to create a list that was simple and easy to get you through the next six weeks and help you reach your goals. The first category we're going to focus on are the veggies, and that's because they can be the most confusing. You'll notice here that there are a list of vegetables, and these are actually the vegetables that you cannot eat for the next six weeks. That's not to say that they are bad for you, but they are more carby, and so we want to limit our intake of them. Um, so you guys can stick to eating green and leafy vegetables for the next six weeks, and we want to have about a fistful of them. Then you'll notice you've got your protein, fat, and carbs. Your protein is going to be about the size of the palm of your hand. The fats are going to be the size of your thumb, and a carb is going to be the size of your fist. We really want to pay attention to our serving size of all of these. So what we're going to be doing is when we look at your meals, everything's going to be broken into blocks. And what is listed here is what is considered one block. Um, so let's take a look at our meals. First, we've got breakfast. For breakfast, you can have one blue block, one orange block, and one green block. That blue, bro blue block is protein. <laughs> the orange block is a carb, and the green block is a veggie. So let's say for breakfast you want to do some eggs. Well, you're going to choose to have six egg whites. Make sure you're having egg whites and not the whole egg. Otherwise, it is not just a protein source. Then we can go over and check out the carbs. Well, it's breakfast time, maybe you wanna do some rolled oats. Well, one block of carbs is gonna be half a cup of dry rolled oats. So make sure you're measuring out that dry um, to be half a cup, and that will be your serving of carbs. And then for our veggies, maybe you want to grab some spinach, throw it in and mix it up with your egg whites and have a little omelet. And you are good to go with breakfast. In between each of our meals, we're going to have a protein shake. For the protein shakes, we want our protein to have at least 20 grams of protein per serving and less than one gram of sugar as well as less than three grams of fat. We sell an awesome protein at the gym. It's called Pure Protein and it is delicious. The churro flavor is on point. Um, I've not personally tried the vanilla and chocolate, but I've heard great things. However, if you already have your own protein, no worries. You are welcome to use it. Just double check with your coach and make sure it fits in with these requirements. Lunch is going to have the same blocks as breakfast. However, you do not have to eat the same thing. You can choose from any one of these proteins to um, have as your protein block. And then you will choose from any one of these carbs to have as your carb block. And then again, as long as it's not on this list and it's a vegetable, you are good to go to have it. You will follow lunch with a protein shake and then you will end your meals with dinner. The difference between dinner and your other meals is that you are trading out your carbs for a fat and your fats are listed here. Please, please, please make sure you are sticking to the serving size. Um, for example, if you are choosing to have berries as your carb, you cannot eat an endless amount of berries. They are carbs, they still have sugar in them, and we want to make sure that we are limiting ourselves to our three quarter cup of berries. Down here, you've got some sample meals that you're welcome to use and try out to start. And then down here, we also have our ultimate grocery helper. So let's say you've planned out your meals and you know you wanna keep it simple, have chicken every day for dinner. Well, that means you're going to need to buy three pounds of skinless chicken breast to last you for the entire week. For your carbs, you know that you're gonna have one bag of sweet potato um, with your lunches or maybe with your breakfast every day and you're gonna have buy one bag of sweet potato. Now, let's say maybe you're just like I'm just gonna have chicken for um, dinner and lunch, then you're gonna wanna double this up in order to make sure that it is enough to cover for two meals every single day. Then down here, we've got for you the different types of sauces that you can have to still have some flavor in your life. We're sticking mostly to some dry rubs um, other than mustard and soy sauce is fine. I wanna point out that you can have balsamic vinegar, but not balsamic vinaigrette. Um, and you can definitely still have some hot sauces and sweeten up your food with stevia and Splenda. For our drinks, you are allowed to have what is listed here. Um, make sure your coffee is black. You can sweeten it again with that stevia or Splenda, or you're welcome to put some protein powder in it. Um, 
Make sure that you are sticking to sugar-free teas. Um, any hot teas and herbal teas are fine as well. And last but not least, the biggest takeaway is if it's not on the list, you cannot have it. So if you ask your coach, hey, can I eat this? Chances are the first thing they're going to tell you is check the list. Then the next thing they're going to do is check the list. They're going to see that it's not on the list and they're going to say, hey, you can't have this for six weeks because it's not on the list. And again, I want to reiterate that it's not because that food is bad for you. It is simply because um, we want to make this as simple as possible for you guys so you don't have to worry about it and you are just on track to reach your goals. So if you have any questions, do reach out to your coach. They are here to help and we're so excited for your journey.